Do you love yourself? I said, do you love yourself? I mean, do you really love yourself? If you love yourself, tap yourself, yourself on the chest and say, I love myself. I say, tap yourself on the chest and say, I love myself. Tap yourself on the chest and say, I love myself. Now, for some of us, we might have found it hard to do that. And y'all might find the strength for me to point that out. But I just pointed out the truth, believe it or not. We'd be surprised how many people find it so easy to tell something or someone else or express their love for something or someone else and have trouble expressing their love to themselves. I say tap yourself on the chest and say, I love myself. I love me every day. But today I want to take an opportunity to share and express how much I love myself to the collective. Everybody who loving yourself today, I salute you. Because nobody else can't do it for you. So don't wait for validation for anybody else to do so. Um, Stillness in abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Stillness in abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Stillness in abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all, because you really don't need one. And if you do, you need to uh, check into that. But I hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all, operating the truest, highest, radiant, and greatest version of your authentic self. Um, we are fishing in cancer season. The Gemini season is over. This is the month of the 6th, 9th, the crab, however, Y'all recognize the zodiac sign cancer, but this is cancer season. So salute to all my cancers. I am a zodiac sign cancer myself. So salute to all my cancer star sevens. It's our time. It's our month anyway. Um, I just want to take a moment to come through, to, to come through, to come through, as I remember myself. in various shades of what self is and how much I matter. I wanted to remind us, I wanted to remind you that you matter as I remind us that we matter. Everybody matters, man. Nobody is insignificant. No matter how great or how small a part we play. If you, if you strip all the, all the things away from people, we all on the same playing field. If we strip, I'm gonna say it again. If you strip all the things from people that make people somebody in the eyes of people, we all on the same playing field. I don't know who needed to hear that. Um, I hope I hope everyone is doing well. Um, when it comes to karmic completion. It takes you to end it all. Congratulations to those who have done so. Uh, congratulations to those who are constantly transmuting and transforming themselves, uh, transforming cellularly and transforming your DNA, um, not only for yourself, but for the generations before us, as well as the generations to come after. Congratulations. Um, if you used to, if who you used to be, I'm gonna say it again. If who you used to, keyword used to, and I might sound country, used to. If who you used to be is not who you are today, I wanna take this moment to salute you. If what you used to do is not what you do today, I wanna to take this moment to salute you. 
if how you used to think is not how you think today, I would like to take this opportunity to salute you. If you see yourself through a different lens, salute to you. I see you too. And all we do, and through whatever we do, I want to remind us to be true to oneself. Be true to yourself. Because in doing so, you never have to spend time trying to be anything else. I stress that because it's, it's hard to be authentic in these days and times. Being programmed with so much through the media. Sports player this, superstar that, actor this. All the influence, all the mental suggestions, subliminal suggestions, the mental programming. So I'm always stress the need to find the true self and be authentic to that. Um, and I stress that as I was saying because it's hard to be authentic if you don't know how to feel. And depending on our upbringing, we was taught to suppress our emotions in, in one form or another to our emotions are almost, they almost don't exist. We're so desensitized. I'm not, when I say we, I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm just speaking for who it speaks to. But guess what? The mess don't never disappear. It show up through our everyday life experiences. It show up through our relationships in the different forms of relationships that we build. It show up in every aspect of our life. It show up in our attitudes. Um, so forth and so on um, And the reason that I point that out Is because by now We should recognize the patterns By now we should recognize The program that comes from the patterns By now we should recognize the behaviors By now we should recognize The actions By now we should recognize the words By now we should recognize the triggers I said all that to say salute to those who remember that we've done this before. And we're recognizing what needs to be recognized to undo what got us in the, in the, in, in the places and positions and problems that we had to work to to find ourselves in a better place. Salute you. Salute to those who sold our awakening to the things that I'm speaking to now in this moment. Salute to those who are coming to that realization. Nobody gets left behind. We all grow at different levels on the journey. Nobody gets left behind. Salute to those who still say no to confusion, conflict, and drama, and any form of toxicity. Sometimes you have to learn how to cut yourself out from what keep cutting you up. When you learn to love, not only when you learn to love, but when you learn to love yourself, it show you how to get yourself out of low vibrational-ish. I'm focusing on self-love because when we go outside of ourselves, Sometimes we get pointed in the wrong direction. So never go outside yourself for answers about yourself. Because sometimes the opinions of others have a way of dampening our spirit. For those who feel overlooked, it's good to be overlooked sometimes. Being overlooked is okay. Because in most cases, the one who appears to be in the front also be the one who fall first so you get to capitalize off the mistakes that those in front make so you don't make the same mistake sometimes being in front cause us to miss things 
So it's good to be overlooked sometimes. It's, it's okay to be runner up. Stay in your flow. Don't overlook yourself. Everyone is a reflection of what we're mirroring. Continue to build, elevate, inspire, and motivate yourself so you can be that to others. Remember, it's a time and a place for everything. I want to point that out because I come from an upbringing where we was taught. If you don't have anything to say nice, don't say nothing at all or keep your mouth shut. But what we wasn't taught to see is how, what, how the things that we say out of our mouth and what the things that we say out of our mouth reveal about ourselves. I'm going to say it again. What we wasn't taught is to recognize how what we say speak about us. Somebody will catch it. So I remind us to exercise these tools and these jewels where needed. They're character builders. They're shape shifters. And just remember, if you don't have nothing nice to say, sometimes it's best to keep our mouth shut. The hard part is the hard part because it needs it need the most healing. Still, it's in abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Feel good for no reason at all. Y'all stay up. I'm your host and co-pilot, Saul the God. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your subscribe. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for rocking with me because I rock with it. I rock with y'all. One family.